I was watching a video by Mr. Who's the Boss the other day when I saw this, the Infinity Game Table made by Arcade 1UP. I thought to myself, oh wow, this is cool, and went on with my day until I realized that I had actually seen something very similar before, the Microsoft Surface. No, not the one you're thinking of. This is the Surface Table, later known as PixelSense. It's a 30-inch 4x3 display with an entire PC inside that has five integrated infrared cameras to detect user input. It sits horizontally on top of a stand, just like a table. The idea for the Surface first came about in 2001 when Stevie Bathici, I'm definitely pronouncing that horribly wrong, of Microsoft Hardware and Andy Wilson of Microsoft Research came up with the idea of an interactive table. A virtual team for this concept was founded in October. It wouldn't be until 2003, however, that the interactive table idea was presented to Bill Gates, chairman of Microsoft at the time. He liked the idea, encouraging the somewhat small team to keep going with the idea. Throughout the next month, a now bigger team began developing the first prototype for this model, named T1. It was made out of an IKEA table with a hole in the top and a piece of vellum to act as a diffuser. A few applications were also built for the T1, including a puzzle, a photo browser, and a game of pinball. By 2004, more than 85 prototypes had reportedly been made. The Surface's hardware was finalized in 2005. Apparently, the whole project's code was rewritten before release on April 17, 2008. The first version of the Surface ran Windows Vista and had an Intel Core 2 Duo E6400 processor, 2GB of DDR2 memory, and a 160GB hard drive and cost around US$10,000. In the beginning of 2012, Microsoft and Samsung released their joint collaboration on the Surface, the Samsung SUR40. The SUR40 runs Windows 7, has an AMD Athlon 2x2 245E processor, 4GB of DDR3 memory, and a 320GB hard drive, and cost around US$8,400. Later in 2012, Microsoft announced a tablet, also called the Surface, which caused the Surface Table to be renamed PixelSense. Luckily, a kind user by the name of Autumn Williams has shared a dump of the contents of the hard drive in the Surface SUR40, and I have installed such dump in a virtual machine. So without a further ado, let's check it out. Okay, so we are here in the out-of-box experience for the version of Windows 7 that came with the Surface uh, SUR40, made by Samsung. Um, and as we can already see, it has a red background, uh, which is different from that of Windows 7. Anyway, I'm going to put in my username. It also has a little Surface logo at the bottom here. Uh, I'm not going to put in a password. Just going to get my time zone here. Next. Home network. So yeah, the out-of-box experience isn't all that different from Windows 7's. Um, besides this background here. Okay, there we go. Windows is finalizing your settings. And there we go. It has a different log on screen background as well, and it gives me a new um, user picture. So I'm going to go to log in here. Okay, um, one thing I've noticed about this is that it actually has zero day activation, so you have to activate it right away, even though there was no prompt to activate it in the setup. I mean, there wasn't an ISO that came with this, uh, just applied the WIM image. Okay, so we can see that the desktop wallpaper has been changed, it's that, it's that same red wallpaper as we saw in the login screen in the Autobot experience. And yeah, because it's not activated, we see this this copy of Windows is not genuine watermark. Here we go. There we go, here we can see five new desktop icons, Surface Shell, Enter Surface Mode, Environment Lighting Optimizer, SUR40 Calibration Tool, and the Surface Config Editor. The calibration and the environment lighting tools for the actual hardware. This isn't going to work on this virtual machine that I know of. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the Config Editor, do editor, editor does. But anyway, um, if we go to Personalize here, you can see there's a new theme here, OEM, and it has a pink arrow glass so we're going to test that once um, once I get VMware tools installed <laughs> you may be, you may be a victim of software counterfeiting Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software <laughs> never had that happen before okay cool where are all the signatures for these drivers Jesus Christ 
Did VMware 60... Did it just fail to install? VMware tool setup wizard ended prematurely. Yeah, it failed to install. Okay, let's try that again using a much, much older version of VMware tools. Uh, okay, yeah, that was interesting. I love how that just launches so much quicker than the new version. <laughs> Oh, will not you look at that? It failed to install the graphics driver. <laughs> Installing the SVDA drivers in a Windows XP guest. Um, don't think so. Windows found driver software for, de for your device, but encountered an error while trying to install it. Okay, let's try a different version of VMware tools. <laughs> that one doesn't quite seem to work either. Okay, let's try VMware 6.5.2 this time. Wow, it finally worked! Hallelujah, it's a miracle! Someone sent Jesus down here. I think someone already sent Jesus down here, bro. VMware tools worked. Um... Huh? You could be in it, might be writing a counterfeit copy of Windows. Eh. Wait, does Arrow Glass, like, not work? I swear I'd gotten this to work before. Or is there just not a driver installed? Okay, well, let's try installing another... Enca encountered a problem? SVGA 3D? Huh? Okay, well, I guess we're going without Arrow Glass. That's fine. Uh... So the theme basically would have had a purple taskbar and uh, purple window borders here, but I guess we're not having that. Um, so enter surface mode. So what this does is it basically just logs you out of your session, and then um, both the color. <laughs> is it going into safe mode or something? Man, really <laughs> what, the f what the fuck happened to the color? Is the color coming back? Oh, I hear sound. It's definitely sound. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna restart the virtual machine. <laughs> this is in 16 colors. <laughs> okay, now it's back to normal. Okay, so pro tip, don't enter surface mode. <laughs> I had a VM where everything worked completely fine. I don't, I don't know what happened here. Oh, it's back in surface mode. Okay, so it kind of works now. This is very laggy. Okay, so we have to. Uh, we got a mouse down on me. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to turn into the surface logo. Anyway, to get out of surface mode, you press control to delete and just log off and then log back on. I think. Okay. Anyway. Let's set the uh, let's set the resolution back. Anyway, you can you can go into the surface shell without going into surface mode. Or not. 
Oh, there we go. Test mode, please switch to, please switch to surface mode before public deployment. I'm not quite sure what this is doing. Is this just not gonna work? I think it might be time for me to make another virtual machine. <laughs> Alright, so three and a half weeks later and eight virtual machines later, we are back. Um, this is a major pain in the ass to actually get working, but I actually uh, got the system working with the arrow glass and everything. So you can see the it has like a pink arrow shade here. Um, as you can also see in the taskbar. So let's uh, check out all the apps. So first this is the environment lighting optimizer. Um, this is a dark screen. I'm presuming this was to get the best lighting out of the system and the room it was being uh, used in. SUR40 calibration tool is um, I'm not I'm not really sure what it does right now, but um, I guess from what I from what it looks like, it's to calibrate the screen and the touch sensors. Surface Config Editor is um, basically like the appearance, you need to make a selection, whatever. Um, but you can change the appearance, the actual launcher itself. Single application mode is where if you install an app on there, it can make it so that it's the only app that runs on there. Um, error and out of order screens, and this is just feedback stuff. So now let's get into the actual application. So surface mode, what it does is basically, yeah, it logs you off and then uh, it runs this uh, full screen, which I I have I've encountered a lot of issues with it. So here I'm going to be trying the surface shell. Now I've installed like seven to eight applications on here. The only application it comes with by default is just Bing, which uh, I don't know about you. I don't want to be using. Okay, so there's this screen. So what you need to do is you need to tap on the Surface logo. And there we go, it brings up the logo here. Okay, so uh, I have some applications installed in here. So let's check them out in alphabetical order. Uh, order. This one is ABC. So I'm guessing this is just more of a sample application to try to... Uh, to try to teach people how to use the uh, the touch screen the very proto touch screen okay this just looks like a background application <laughs> oh nope I'm moving things so I can move these blocks around where is this going oh okay well There we go. Can throw these around, you know. There we go. This would be a banger logo for something. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's basically what the ABC app is. So let's try uh, Bing first. A second. Okay, so it's basically like a Bing search bar. You can select between maps and images. Uh, from my testing, I have never gotten this to work, but let's just try this. Connection error. So yeah, it doesn't seem to work right now. I think they might have shut down the services. Let's see, uh, car demo. This looks like those little carpets you'd have in your kindergarten class, where it's just like with like the road <laughs> don't quite think this does anything unless if it's just nope it just doesn't do anything anyway uh, Kia Sportage I'm assuming this is showing off the 2012 Kia Sportage <laughs> yes okay so I'm assuming this would be showed off at like Kia like dealerships and stuff Magic Lens Preview. 
Don't know what that is. Technicos. Magic lens. <laughs> Uh, so you can just look at diagrams of bodies. Uh. Anyway, uh, any wiverse natural user interface. What was that? Okay, so it seems that this app just doesn't work. Let's see, uh, Samsung laptop. Uh, most of the stuff is upside down, but you can see economy, importance of the price tag, design, the need for beauty and comfort, and mobility, the need for mobility. Uh, there's really nothing here. Anyway, uh, social stream, I'm not expecting this to work anymore. This looks like... Uh, Something where you'd view all your social medias on. Exploring DOF in class. What is this? For former students work on Pixel Sense. This might also be a sample app. <laughs> And then we have here touch tech files. I don't have a license for this and I do not plan on getting one. I don't even know if this still exists anymore. So I can't use this. I'll show you what happens when I try to use it. Yeah, activation required. See. So uh, this is just the test mode. Please switch to surface mode before public deployment. And if I start over here, it just starts over the demo. Um, so let's close this real quick. Um, and the wallpaper's disappeared. Anyway, let's try out uh, entering surface mode. Yes. Okay, so now you can see this is running full screen. Um, it's kind of hard to see where the cursor's going. But if you hold down... Uh, you could see that it's that it looks a lot better than in the regular test mode. So yeah, I can kind of go through all the apps here. Okay, there we go. There, uh, there's the graphical glitches again. Uh, so this was a pretty cool thing that not too many people know about. Um, you can kind of think of this as a proto, 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 uh, kind of Windows 8 touch Metro interface, especially because this is also called the Microsoft Surface. Uh, so anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, goodbye.